And the farming adventures of Anar and Thorfinn continue. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus, and yes, Vinland Saga Season 2 is off to a great start. An intriguing start. A very mellow sort of start. Last time we saw Anar and Thorfinn get a lot closer for sure, but they still really don't know enough about each other aside from Anar sort of opening up to Thorfinn at the end. I'm hoping we start to see sort of like what's going on and th Thorfinn's head crack through. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub and let's get into it. Oh, we're still on this. And I thought that like them trampling the wheat was going to be like a plot point, but I guess not. Maybe they're just kissing up to him because he is the young master. Or they're just drunk. It's probably because they're just drunk. Snake. Village on a peninsula. <clears throat> is this a new location? Just guys doing guy things. Oh! I'm sorry, they just perished! Who are these in individuals? Oh wait, this is Omar. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is near the farm. <laughs> it is an odd age. He's getting wasted. Oh, wait, I feel like something's gonna happen to him. Fox and Badger. I feel like they want something from him. No, they seem like chill guys. Today, okay, never mind. They drink. Oh, he's. Okay, okay, okay. They don't have bad intentions, I don't think. But he said today, so they must. Yeah, drink together more often. He's gonna challenge him. <laughs> so they're guards, but yeah, they don't even have to ever do anything. Oh, wait. Wait, dude, he's, he's like drunk, drunk. Oh. They go humble him a little bit very quickly. Nah, they weren't lying, yeah. They better have the skills. His dad didn't just hire randoms. Oh. He's throwing a fit. <laughs> so the family would like us. So, so, I mean, they had some intentions. Get yourself together, man. A rite of passage. Oh no. Where is he going with this? I can't tell if he's just like trolling him. Or is the rite of passage like killing someone? <gasps> oh, they leading him down a dark path. Oh my gosh! What is he doing? Once you know how fra- Wow. This guy's a demon. They're all like, yep, yeah, pretty much. He's gonna say one of the slaves because he could get away with it. Oh no. Anar. Dude. I guess it's not even just Anar, just a slave in general. Oh nah, but Thorfinn's gonna have to wait. Allowed to get dude, I still don't think his father would be okay with it though. Ooh, this is gonna get spicy. So I think that's going to be the sort of uh pipeline into Anar finding more about Thorfinn is Thorfinn having to stop Omar from killing him. And he, whenever he sees those skills, he's like, okay, you gotta elaborate. They have no idea what's coming. Although, yeah, Thorfinn's gonna be ready for it. Uh, wait, is it gonna happen now? He's all alone, like isolated. And I feel like Omar would still do it when he's intoxicated. Oh, no. Nah. Dude, digging up roots. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's having nightmares. Oh. He came running over. It's like night terrors. My poor boy. Not a dream, buddy. He definitely remembers. It 100% it, it just happened. Probably by Askeladd or his father. Look at Einar, bro. He just looks so happy just to be there. Oh, it's the lady. Oh my gosh. Riz Einar coming in. Ready for this. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Don't let me down. Their first words to each other. Ask her name. Oh. We're in! Bro stumbled into that. 
<laughs> He's clutching his heart. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dorvich is having like an existential crisis. His daily one. Oh, he actually didn't know. Arnade. Arnade? Arnade. That's tough to remember. Anar and Arnade. It just sounds perfect. Hard for a lady like you to understand. Yeah, I'm assuming that she's what's his name? Uh, in, uh Nar's daughter or Omar's sister? Her older sister? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Personal attendant. Oh, okay. Huh. All right. What does that entail? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Why would, like, the master's daughter be washing her faces as well? The mischievous boys are here. He's, like, scouting them, bro. For who Omar can kill? Oh, no. Nah. Where are they? Where are they? Wait, maybe they'll have them duel? What is happening? A resident defensive force. Okay, so they're not always, they haven't always been here. We knew that. I can't tell if they want Omar to just try to backstop one of them or if they would do it in a duel. He's just thinking about her. <laughs> oh, they're going to this like outpost. What? They're actually just gonna duel? Just like this? Wait, no, they're not dueling. He's gonna cut him down? Oh, no. Nah. Wait, Thorfinn would stand for that. Ritual. Wait, this is way more like just mask off than I thought it would be. This is insane. Omar cannot do this. Dude, would his father really be okay if he found out that he just struck someone down? Been a slave. Oh my gosh. But they don't own him. Uh, the what, What's his name does? I guess it's Omar's family. Well, even if he does take a swing, it is not going to be lethal, and he's going to be in a severe amount of pain. Slowly die. Wait! Yeah, he's admitting they're not his! I mean, Thorfinn isn't even shaken, though. He could fight back with his bare hand. He's running out! Oh my gosh! Tell the mad Dude, I don't know if he would care. He's just standing there. He literally hasn't moved. He's gonna get involved. Get involved. Uh, he's volunteering himself. Bro, Thorfinn's fine to die? Oh my gosh. This is so sad. Is this on the same farm? How do you sleep like that? How is that possible? Wizard. Who dat? Doesn't look familiar. Yeah, we don't we don't know who this is, right? Is that lights coming off of him? He's got a sword. Where's my breakfast? This guy's a bum. <laughs> yeah, tell him, Gramps. Yeah, that would be so difficult. So this isn't his home. But meanwhile. Like I said, I don't know if Omar would be able to. And if he did, it would traumatize him. Absolutely. Scrambles. He's intrigued by his willingness to die. <laughs> Does this look like the face of a man that's kidding? <laughs> What, ones that have lost purpose? Reduces the value of our... Oh! Making it seem like less of a deal that they're like cutting him down. Fear. Omar is not built for this! A fear! I said fear! Yeah! He's reducing the value of Thorfinn, of him cutting him down when Thorfinn isn't scared to die. The way he tries to cut Thorfinn down. Oh, he's testing him. And he doesn't move! Dude, it's gonna drive him insane if Thorfinn doesn't react or anything. 
Oh, this guy's coming back to the camp. Okay, so he's just like a member here, or lives here, part of the regime. Dude, dude. Oh my gosh. Your true feelings. He actually is fine with dying. What's the deal with this guy, though? He's not screaming in pain or anything. Oh my gosh, man. Oh, I, I thought this guy was gonna be like, oh my gosh, I know this guy. And he's still cutting him. Oh. Oh my gosh! Bro, what do you say to that? Oh my gosh! Dog! Oh! Ah! Thank you! Bro, he sliced his ear and he didn't move. Snake. This is the title of the episode. Snake! Is it a big deal that he's here? Oh, he's the boss of this camp? Oh, he got fast! Yes! Oh! Oh, damn! Oh, that was so satisfying. Wait, Snake got a chicken, Chad! Wow, someone at this camp that isn't completely horrible. How nice. Okay, so another character introduced that might be sort of a big deal or part of this bigger picture and even more development for Omar. I feel like the cast is growing so quickly this season. Not to mention, what's her name? I already, I already forgot it. Um, It's very hard to remember. I'm not gonna lie. Arnhide. Arnhide? Can somebody help me with the pronunciation down in the comments below? Like I said, but yeah, the cast is growing and I feel like we're slowly getting to know the dynamics more and more. Questioning what the master of the farm would care about like what would happen to Thorfinn or Einar. And I think Olmar too. I think this entire experience since hopefully we have halted either Thorfinn or Einar dying, Olmar will be like, okay, never mind. I'm not built for this. I don't want that. It was before it was like before he was too far gone. Before he had actually struck someone down and sort of headed down a, a, a one line of path similar to Thorfinn's. Because Thorfinn started to really empty out his soul and become this just blank person as soon as he started just slicing people down like it was nothing. But him just being completely fine with getting cut down is just heartbreaking because it had to have been Asquad's death that did this, that really did shatter his soul. Realizing that no matter how like your life arcs and like where you go or what good or bad you do, you end up dead. He's like, there's no point at this point. But now I feel like, I don't know, maybe Thorfinn and Anor might spend more time at this camp where Snake is. Is this like where the bodyguards just are held or like where they train and just wait? And it's basically just like a protection sort of base for the entire farm. It's kind of what it seems like. But guys, that has been it for my reaction to Vinland Saga today. Season two gets juicier and juicier. Drop a like and I'll catch you next time. Peace, peace.